Hey y'all, it's Saturday. Welcome to the vlog. Hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. Hi. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button on the way in. Make sure you like Hi. the video and you share the video. So again, it's Saturday. Um, it's about 2.30, probably almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And I am about to get up and go get dressed so I can run out to the store. Maybe not like right away, but in a couple of, <laughs> in a couple of hours. So, um, yeah, I do need to go get some food because my refrigerator is literally, literally on E. So, we're going to go ahead and get some food. And um, I don't know, but whatever I do, you guys will be coming with me. So, stay tuned. All right. So, I decided that I'm going to wear this black bodysuit from Zara. Um... I'm gonna actually just put this on with these black leggings that are also from Zara, but they are short for some reason. Like um, they used to be full length or close to full length, from what I recall, but they kind of shrunk. But the material is still really good. I don't really wear them like if I'm going out, out no way, but um, like to wear, you know, to the grocery store or something, but they're just so thick and I love the band because it's like great for compression purposes. And then um, just this little, I'm gonna put this, excuse me, all these, excuse me. I'm gonna put this green sweater on the top of it. It's open in the front and to, in the fall, I'll just wear it without a shirt or anything underneath, but it's best to wear it um, with like breast tape and because I don't have any and it's probably still really cold outside anyway I'm going to excuse me August excuse me August I'm going to um just wear the bodysuit and then that's the look for today So we are dressed. I can't wait to get a tripod, but this is the outfit, okay? Put it on. And now I'm about to take my hair down. If y'all watch me on live, if y'all watch me on live last night, you know that I pressed my hair out and I also gave myself a pretty, a fairly decent trim. And I had to do a little layer layering effect in the front because I mean it was already like naturally layered because of the breakage that I had been experiencing so lately I've been parting my hair in the middle a lot but I feel like with this particular style of cut it might look better um with a side part. So what I'm gonna actually do, as soon as you can see the little layers going there, um, I would try to like bump this part a little bit, kind of like making a little swoop. I guess I'm not um, <laughs> really being clear with what I'm saying, but um so put in some volume here and i'm gonna kind of just swoop it across so let me see how i like that because it'll be a little different from the usual that i've been doing lately with the um middle part and then i might like it because like i said i really don't like layers but it can be cute sometimes i guess or girls Yeah, 
that piece done. And then we got this little piece. Maybe I should do it into two pieces instead of one. Hopefully I don't regret this. Because I don't use heat on my hair more than once a week. And um, that whole piece didn't even make it in. <laughs> and uh, so if this doesn't come out how I want it to, it will be extra heat for no reason. So now I have this big frumpy looking thing here, right? I'm gonna give this a couple of seconds to cool down. this comb and I'm going to comb these out. I want it to swoop over this way. So I don't really care for it. Um, let me think. I want it to be more like, you know, just not so tight, a little, a little looser. Oh no, I'm not, I'm not feeling this. <laughs> trying to make it to make it work you know I just wanted a low volume here to kind of play with the the layers a little bit It's a little swoop, but it's real loose, you know? That's what I'm going for, but it's only giving that effect if I'm holding it down. So I'm like, this is a one inch flat iron. I mean, and my other one is a two inch, a one and a half inch, but it's not shaped like this. So I don't really use that one for curling. Um, I don't know. It's not awful, and by the time, by the time I wrap it tonight, it'll be gone. I ain't even gonna bother it. I'm gonna just let it wrap itself out. And probably by tomorrow, for real, for real, it'll be giving a little effect that I wanted to give. Okay, so I'm just going to iron off. And I'm gonna wear this today, Rest and Roll by Motors. On my lips.
Um, so this is how it's looking. I'm about to put some um, serum on my face. And then I think that'll be the look. All right, so I wanted to put these earrings on, but I feel like they make the outfit a little bit dressier than I would like for them to. Um, I just want a simple earring if I'm going to do an earring with this, and I really ever wear earrings anyway. As a single mom of four and my youngest being just two years old, I know firsthand how busy we get and how time just seems to fly by. Between feeding, diaper changing, pull up changing, potty training, working and maintaining my home, I never seem to have time for myself. I remember when my youngest was first born, I'd wish somebody would just come over and take the baby so I could do simple things like shampoo my hair or even just eat a meal. But that never happened for me. It was hard and I had no time to myself, let alone time to put together nice outfits. I just throw on whatever was clean and then go do whatever I had to go do. This is why I created Paired, a place where single moms with limited time can still look amazing. We offer different sets for many different occasions, making it easy to access whatever you need and to get going because your time is very limited. Most importantly at Paired, we want women to take care of themselves and not compromise who they are as a woman to be a mom because you don't have to choose. You can do both. Lastly, I want you to always remember that you are important and that you matter. So go ahead, head over to www.shopair.com. All right, so next morning here. When I got in from the grocery store last night, I literally just put the food up. I didn't even get a lot of stuff. It was like a bunch of... I did get a little bit of meat because I don't get meat from there no more. So I just got some ground turkey. And um, just like stuff I needed for breakfast and just basic stuff. I still haven't done like my... I, no, don't drink that. Don't drink that. Why? Drink the other one. My like big shopping or whatever. So. I said don't drink it. So, um, yeah, I didn't get back on camera last night, but I'm going to end the vlog with this. My wonderful cooking um, breakfast. Be careful now. All right, all right. Okay, so I'm making this. I'm going to mix my usual potatoes and probably just some eggs and orange juice. So, let's get to the kitchen. Let's get to the stove, darling. Do y'all see these things? Like, I just bought this bag of potatoes last night. Like, look at this. These potatoes is, that's why I don't like going to food line. You see, this is exactly why I go elsewhere. If I could have made it to Whole Foods last night, I would have went. Because this, this is just unacceptable.
gosh, can my school go? Or yo, bro. Let me see how these are used to be. Okay, I'm fine. They what have apple in the inside. Alright, so everything is all chopped up. I'm just heating up my oil. Oh, never mind. I'll just come back on when the food on the stove. So take a look, take a look. <sighs> Please put your clothes on because I'm recording, okay? <laughs> so look at this egg. Y'all see this egg, right? Broken. Let me, okay, so let me give y'all the backstory on this broken egg. Okay, so I've been watching these videos because I'm trying to learn um, how to cook my own bread, like bread bagels uh what is it mcmuffins all all this stuff bread related <sighs> and i'm also trying to figure out how to grow um you know like my food like my onions my rosemary all of that stuff i want to learn how to grow all of my stuff right um so because i live in the south now i have been thinking about um buying some chickens like once i get a place of my own i want to get some chickens and let them you know so i could get my eggs from them and i had august like watching some of those videos at me i've been kind of like looking around on tiktok and stuff like that to kind of see how other people is doing that that's choosing to live that type of lifestyle right and child no, august do that. comes to the egg and i had my back to her so i did not see him and some kind of way he cracks the egg. And by the time I turned around and realized when I was getting ready to yell, like he had the biggest smile on his face. Like I could I couldn't even yell anymore. I just burst out laughing because he was so proud of himself. Like so proud that he had done anything with the egg because he's been really fascinated with those videos. So um now I'm one egg short. It's only was twelve in the only a dozen eggs. Cause I usually buy um a dozen and a half, but in this goofy grocery store I went to last night, they didn't have but a dozen, so. Uh-uh, Ace. Um. Okay. So now that the drama has piped down. Um. So yeah, he was just so proud of himself. And now I'm an egg short. But that's fine. I'll get over that. But what I do want to know is, is anybody um, that watches me, do you have chickens? I know like a lot, a lot of the Spanish people down here, they have chickens. They get their eggs from their own chickens and stuff. And they got roosters and all that type of stuff. Um, do y'all bake y'all own bread? Do y'all grow your own onions, um, scallion? What else can you grow? Um, lettuce, that, like what, what do y'all do anything, um, farm wise? Do y'all grow y'all own food? You know, so let me know in the comments below, um, what advice you might have for me because I'm very new at this, very new at this, still doing my research, just prepping for when I actually move, um, for how I want things to be. <laughs> All right, breakfast is ready. This is my plate. I've already been eating off of it. And then I, I have a side of blueberries and some orange juice there. I need to move my eggshells. Well, that's going to do it for this vlog, y'all. Um, make sure that you subscribe. Hit the like button. Share this video with your audience. And check out my website, uh, www.shoppair.com, where you can get all the cute cohorts of sets that you like. So, until next time.